Hi there. Today, we're going to be covering how to make an appointment on EAB Navigate. My name is Priscilla. I'm part of the learning platforms team, and I'm going to be showing you the step by step process of how to do this. So the very first thing we want to do is we want to log in to our EAB Navigate site using our UM credentials. So make sure you do that. The second thing we want to do once we're in our home is click on make an appointment on the top right hand side. Now it's going to be requesting what kind of appointment we would like to make. So we can choose from UM athletics to tutoring, study abroad, or academic advising specific to the department that we want. So I'm gonna go ahead and select academic advising. Then it's gonna request a service category. So I'm gonna be selecting College of Engineering for the sake of this tutorial. Then it's gonna be requesting which service I would like to make for this appointment. So I'm going to select computer and click next. It's going to be asking me which location I would like to make for these appointments. Keep in mind that right now we're doing virtual appointments, but in the nearby future, we are going to be going back to physical appointments. You can choose a specific staff member, but you don't have to, you can click next. Now it's gonna show me the calendar. And so I'm gonna go ahead and select the time that suits my schedule whether academic or professional. So I'm gonna click next and you can click on the blue to see which slots are available. If it is gray, keep in mind that there's probably already a student that booked that, that slot. So I'm gonna go next and I wanna select February 1st. So 10 a.m. Eastern time, perfect. I'm gonna go ahead and select that one and click next. So now we have the details for our appointment. We can see who I'm meeting with right over here. Um, I can see which time and dates I'm meeting and where. And if I'd like, I can add additional details to my advisor and let her know in advance what concerns, comments, questions I have before meeting with her, her or him. Also, I can provide my phone number so that I can have a reminder or an email sent to me once the appointment is coming up. So I'm gonna go ahead and click confirm appointment. Voila, success, your appointment has been created. This is how you would go ahead and create your appointment. As you can hear, I just got an email confirming it. And if you have any questions, please feel free to email us or to call us and we'll be glad to answer your questions. Thank you for watching. Have a wonderful day.